There are five remaining official dinosaurs coming to Path of Titans in the future of the game. Or is there actually five? Could there be six instead? Today I'm talking about each of these five remaining dinosaurs and diving into why there could be a sixth. So you can all strap yourselves in and get excited for what's to come for the game. We are starting off with the final fully land-based dinosaur to come to Path of Titans, this is Mira Gaia, one of the two creatures remaining in the jagged dinosaur pack which saw the introduction of both Rampharynchus and Achillobator into the game. This is the last two fauna alongside Microraptor of course, which funnily enough after a poll that I done where 5,100 people voted in and predicted which they thought could come first, Miragaya or Microraptor, 62% of you all voted Miragaya over Microraptor which is quite shocking. So what is this dinosaur? This is a stegosaurid dinosaur that is known to have the longest neck out of all stegosaurs with 17 neck vertebrae which is insane. This is a large stegosaurid and I do believe came about by a perk owner who wanted to see Miragaya into the game because I think the perk was specifically a stegosaur rather than anything else. This is likely to either be on par or just below that of Stegosaurus in terms of height and size. Truthfully, the Stegosaurus reference that is in-game, what it's based off of, is actually the same size as this long-necked beast, if not smaller. So, if anything, maybe Miragaya will be a 5-slot compared to Stegosaurus being a 4-slot. That would be quite crazy. I'd bet this is a hybrid gameplay style, however, an apex version of Kentrosaurus or Stegosaurus, with the likelihood of having the bleed stats of Kentrosaurus and the overall protection that Stego has. But what else is imminent in terms of release? Well, there's one of the smallest creatures left, and this is that. Joining Rampharynchus as the smallest playable in the official roster of Path of Titans and with 38% of you guys voting or 5100 of you guys voting, Microraptor is next and this is also part of the Jagged Bundle alongside Miragaya. Do we know if this one's next? Do we think it's going to be next? Evidently not, you guys don't think this one will be next and maybe the devs will prove us all wrong. This is a stretch goal dinosaur and is said to come alongside three unique species, a handful of unique skins and a brand new unique gameplay style specific to this dinosaur gliding and tree climbing microraptor is arguably the most unique playstyle coming to the game in my eyes i mean we have a big filter feeder and we also have in game at the moment a pterosaur that carries the plague i still think microraptor is going to be more unique and that mainly comes down to the fact that it has tree climbing and gliding as abilities that it will be able to do no other dinosaur can glide but aside from the pterosaurs i mean but they can fly it doesn't really count no other dinosaur can tree climb however and that's where the difference lies that being said this little scamp will be coming to the game soon it's likely that truthfully there is a 50 percent chance this could be next 50 percent chance going to this and the other going to microraptor but of course if it doesn't come next the chance is 100 percent roughly i mean it should be Two of the biggest aquatic creatures are yet to release into Path of Titans and those are Tylosaurus and Lidicthes. However, these have two totally different gameplay styles. Tylosaurus is the one we're talking about right now and this will be released as part of the next pack of dinosaurs and when that will happen, I have no clue. Who knows when this one will come but this will only be known after the Jagged pack is complete. So once Miragaya and Microraptor are done, then we'll see some news regarding this one or maybe some teasers as to what this is. But given how long Urinosaurus and Hatsigotrix took for the Seafarers bundle to be completed, yeah, it could be uh, like next year when we get to see this one. Tylosaurus is a large Mosasaur with its species Tylosaurus Bernardi coming in at over 10 meters in length. With the addition of Tylosaurus Proriger with specimen KUVP5033 also being slightly longer than that as well. This is a huge marine predator that will likely be an apex of the seas in Gondwar, likely feasting upon the smaller prey items like Urinosaurus and Kaiwekia, but maybe even grouping up to deal with the next creature on our list, something even bigger. Under Technicality, 
This would be the last known official creature, of course if it comes last, to come to the game. Ledicthes is a stretch goal creature, much like that of Tylosaurus. Now while Tylosaurus was mentioned to be fully unique aquatic style gameplay and associated mechanics in the stretch goal page, Ledicthes is different. Ledicthes arguably is more unique and I referenced this earlier because it will have its own unique gameplay style that will be unique filter feeding gameplay. That's what the developers said and that's official statements. How that will work is anyone's guess because we don't actually have that mechanic in the game at the moment. This fish will usher in a new gameplay style much like how Microraptor is going to be bringing in climbing and gliding. This one's going to be bringing in something totally new as well. That being said I do think this will be the last playable note of the bunch because I think some tweaks to the ocean should be done before filter feeding comes to the game. However this will likely be the largest of all official playables in the game coming in at over 15 meters in length and that's if the developers do make it that big. I think the most interesting thing about this thing though is the play style, the gameplay of it, filter feeding, nothing else has it. However that's what makes it stick out from the rest but other than that it's just a big filter feeding blob that glides or swims through the oceans. The final official creature that we know about, we technically don't know about. This is the mystery dinosaur and is a perk owner or backer creature. Now there are some limitations to this one. It has to be it has to have been a land-based creature and it had to be a semi-aquatic creature from the Mesozoic period as well. And it must be within 20 meters in length, which clearly rules out large sauropods like that of Omesaurus. That being said, we technically knew what this was originally going to be. However, that got written off very quickly and that was Torvasaurus, where the developers originally thought it got refunded and then clarified it is a different dinosaur, however they've kept it a secret now. I've made videos talking about this, but we don't actually know what this could be, and I'd love to know what your predictions are in the comments down below, and what do you think they could be? Although. I think a semi-aquatic herbivore is needed, but I don't know, maybe it's just another big carnivore, or maybe a herbivore instead. There's a lot of options to fill here, especially since it can be semi-aquatic too, and maybe the backer wanted to go very unique. However, there is another dinosaur that could be coming to the game that's a lot more mysterious than the mystery dinosaur, and that is what we're talking about right now. <laughs> Originally, this was a theory, spearheaded by the YouTuber Ari Vander, who is a lovely YouTuber and I recommend you check out their content, although they haven't uploaded in a while. Ari, come back, we all miss you, and I hope you're doing very well. That being said, Ari did point out that every single dinosaur pack in the game has four dinosaurs in it, and it ties together nicely. You pay a certain price, you get that bundle. However, when you complete the Jagged bundle, and then when you look at what's to come in the next bundle, you've got Tylosaurus Lady Dickfree's Mystery Dinosaur, you only have three creatures there to fill up a four creature pack. So that would even mean these things. The developers have this as a smaller DLC at a discounted price, they don't include any of these creatures in a DLC, they have a free pack at full DLC price, or they add a fourth and final creature to round out the pack completely. I personally think we could see a surprise dinosaur, which means although there are five creatures left to come to the game, I think there could be six. What do you think? Do you think there'll be a sixth creature? Or do you think, in fact, actually, will we just see more creatures after that? Because that is a video idea that I do on X4 to talk about the idea that we'll be seeing more dinosaurs come into the game officially after we've finished with all these and the surprise dinosaur is a good way to start with that anyways guys i hope you enjoyed if you are new feel free to subscribe and yeah hope you have a great day if you want to check out another video i recommend this one where we spoke about the upcoming mods for the game that are almost here in fact some of them might already be out now anyways check out the video i hope you have a great day and i'll see you later